yo what's going on guys welcome back to afk journey now in today's video i finally made it to the in-game content so if you guys are wondering you know how do you unlock the in-game content how do you have access to it so if you guys haven't watched my video where i was talking about the dev update before you know song of strife update um they pretty much gave us three requirements in order for us to unlock the song of strife update number one we have complete main quest the last leg we also have complete all AFK challenges and we also have reach resonance level 240. So in order for you to unlock Song of Strife when it comes out, you have to complete these three requirements in order for you to unlock it. So in order for you to unlock, you know, the in-game content for AFK Journey, you have to complete the main quest, the last leg, and you have to complete all AFK stages. So there are in total 1,125 afk stages in total and i was able to clear all of them and once you clear all of the afk stages you're going to have this option right here that says go to trial of abyss but the thing is even though you complete all afk stages you have to complete the main story quest you have to complete the main story the campaign in order for you to unlock trial of abyss because if i open up my map right here you guys can see that trial of abyss it is literally in uh, this area right here if i click all of the maps if i can zoom out just more so when you first start off the game you're going to start off in hollystone and then you're going to go to the golden wetshire the dark forest and then you're also going to go to the Veduso mountains and the remnant part what the remnant peaks this is where trial of abyss is located and in order for you to unlock this location you have to complete all of these locations first then you can unlock remnant peaks so what is trial of abyss so if i come over here exit out so this is where trial of abyss is located it's literally located right here you guys are gonna you know know the location once you complete you know the main story but trial of abyss basically after you complete all afk stages now you're going to enter trial of abyss and you guys can see it says if i complete five more floors i can get some uh, I forgot what these were called, but you can use this to pretty much enhance your character's um, skill. If you have them at like Mythic Plus, like you can basically level up their exclusive equipment. So this is almost similar to, if I come over here to Battle Modes, it's similar to Legend Trial because for Legend Trial, you can get resources to level up your character's exclusive equipment and um, resources to pretty much you know, level up your character's level. So Trial of Area, trial, not Trial of Area, but Trials of Abyss basically gives you more rewards than AFK stages. Rather than you just getting um, normal summon tickets and also some diamonds as well, you're getting more here. You're also getting some Ascension materials to make your character stronger. So if I click the first stage right here, you guys can see that it looks a lot different. Like it says Trial of Abyss Floor 1. So I'm going to go ahead and use i'm um, the free to play team comp team like this is like the top team that everyone is using and um a to defeat you know afk stages so i'm gonna go ahead and put smoky right here we put uh if i can actually okay we put rowan behind cishia we also put entendre over here and then coco so we're gonna go ahead and use the free to play team and let's see what happens here so afk stages are actually kind of you know simple and easy as long as you're able to level up your characters but trial of abyss is actually kind of difficult you guys can see that i'm getting absolutely whooped here and i don't know if we're gonna win this let's see if we're actually gonna win this okay it seems like we're getting rid of the range units in the back row which is actually pretty good so let's see if we can actually get rid of tank units up front because they're actually annoying all right we won that so you guys can see that trial of abyss um, it is a lot more difficult than AFK stages, than your normal AFK stages. And you guys can see these are the rewards you can get when you complete Trial of Abyss stages. 100 Hero Essence. And you guys already know, Hero Essence are like that. This is like the main thing you need in order for you to level up your characters. And you guys might be wondering, well, if you reach level 240, then are you going to be able to level up your characters higher than 240? The answer is yes. So you guys can see that I am literally level 241. So after you complete all AFK stages, you complete the main story quest, you're going to unlock the resonance synergy. So 
Whenever you're leveling up the characters, you're leveling them up one by one. You always want to focus on leveling up the characters in the hands of Resonance so that everybody else in the Resonance heroes can, you know, be the same level as them. But the Resonance synergy gives you the ability to pretty much level up every single character all at once. You don't have to level up five characters. You don't have to do none of that. You can just simply level up everybody. So if I click level up right here, as you guys can see, level 240, I come back everybody is level 240 so resonant synergy really really nice and the maximum level is actually level 300 as you guys can see it says 242 out of 300 so level 240 is the minimum and then the maximum is 300 so well how are we going to like this is the thing though after we reach level 240 then these books right here are basically useless because this is what we use to pretty much level up our characters well, you can actually trade these in to get some more um, hero essence, which is actually pretty dope. So it says training manuals can be converted into hero essence, convert all your training manuals. So once you reach 240, you can trade in all of your hero manual, you're not hero, but training manuals over to hero essence and you can level up your characters in a lot, like you can level them up a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna trade this in. 13,000 hero essence. So we're gonna go ahead and level up. Boom, 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 boom. 248, that is our level now. We exit over here. As you guys can see, everybody's level 248. So this pretty much answers, you know, your questions, you know, is level 240 the max level? Because if we come over here and we check out the glossary, every hero is 240, right? And I thought that that was the max level but apparently once you complete all afk stages complete the main story quest you can literally go above 240 and actually reach level 300 so that is literally the end game content when it comes to leveling up your characters and i actually understand why you know the devs are telling us hey you guys need to you know reach 240 because once you reach level 240 you'll be able to become stronger after that so make sure that you guys actually complete these requirements because if you don't complete these requirements you won't be able to unlock song of strife so overall how do i feel about the in-game content child of abyss honestly it's really good because the rewards are 10 times better i'm getting more hero essence and i'm also getting some um equipment resources to basically level up my equipment so if i come over here if we come back to equipment you guys can see that some of my equipment are max so the max grade for equipment is basically mythic i thought that we we're going to get supreme equipment but it seems like the max is going to be mythic so once you reach level 240 you'll be able to unlock 240 equipment level and then of course you can forge some more equipments but the max is literally level 240 that is the max for equipment so I'm going to come over here and we're going to just forge. Um, let's, let's just forge this one. So I forged this, right? We get a better material, better equipment. And as you guys can see, it's maxed out. So level 240 is literally the max level. And you can literally get the forging stone for free by just simply grinding through Trials of Abyss, which is really nice overall. So Trials of Abyss is literally your in-game content. This is where you're literally going to get all of your resources. This is how you're going to progress through the game. So we're going to go ahead and try to clear this floor right here. So the enemy team level 270. Let's see if we can actually beat this. So, I mean, we have the free to play team comp and this free to play team is really busted. So I, f I feel like we can actually make it quite far here. So we're doing pretty nice overall. All right. Yeah, this is an easy clear. So I feel like the more you progress, of course, the harder it'll get. But don't worry. Once you reach AFK stage 1125, that is not the last stage. After you complete that, you'll unlock Trials of Abyss. And as you guys can see, it's crazy. You literally get 50 forging stones and 100 hero essence every single stage you complete. That is insane overall. That is absolutely insane. So that is literally the end game content and then when i come over here and we take a look at my account so far you guys can see that my cecia is literally supreme plus i was lucky today i ended up getting another copy of cecia and now she is supreme plus which is really nice and right now i'm pretty much focusing on 
you know trying to level up my Valor's exclusive equipment and Cecia's exclusive equipment as well and then the next elite hero I'm trying to focus on is um Marley because Marley is really good against bosses and I want to get some more copies of her and of course Odie because Odie has the most insane his his exclusive equipment is just broken absolutely insane he has the best exclusive equipment in the game it's just completely broken so i'm really trying to get him up to mythic plus so that i can unlock his exclusive equipment and then i'll say the next character i'll say aaron aaron is really nice because with his exclusive equipment he's actually pretty dope in pvp because he can actually group a lot of enemies together which is really nice so trying to get some more copies of this character as well but yeah, that's pretty much all we have when it comes to the in-game content. It's really nice. And I like how even though you complete the story, because as you guys can see, um, I have no more, you know, chapters left. Like it's currently named as unfinished, which means that the story is ongoing and we're going to have to wait for, you know, another major update in order for them to release more story content. And we also have some side quests here. Um, by the way, if you guys are struggling with leveling up your characters, try to complete side quests because you can get some diamonds which can allow you to pretty much summon for some more characters which is really nice even though i recommend you guys to hold off your summons for the song of strife update but make sure that you guys actually complete your side quest so that you can get some more diamonds and get some more resources um town quests town quests are are actually nice as well because you can get some hero essence and you can also get um some soul stones as well which is really dope overall so yeah that's really what i've been doing so far in afk journey i've been grinding my butt off i've been just going absolutely insane complete the main story completed afk stages and now i unlock trials of abyss and i can't wait to progress through this because this looks really really nice overall like this looks really really fun and the fact that you get hero essence and um you also get the forging stones every stage you complete is just a game changer and there's also a rank system where you can pretty much see your rank so i'm literally like rank 804 um some people they reach 358 so there are a lot of floors and trials of abyss and it seems like it's definitely going to be like an endless mode where it's just going to be an infinite you know infinite amount of stages that you can complete overall so really really nice i'm really enjoying the in-game content so far and i'm really looking forward to a song of strife to see what's in store for us but Anyways, I'll be ending the video at that. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.